Hi everyone, today I will be going over how to flash the Motorola Droid Razor and also the Motorola Droid Bionic. First thing we need to do is verify that there's a LTE or SIM card in the phone. You can usually find the LTE slash SIM slot under the back of the phone near the battery. On the Razor, there is a port on the bottom left hand side that you can pop open and insert the SIM card into. It's also important that you make sure to leave the SIM card in during the flash, and we also recommend it be a Verizon LTE SIM card. So now that we have verified that there is a SIM card in the phone, we can prepare the phone for the flash. First thing we need to do is verify the phone is up to date by first connecting it to Wi-Fi, then going to Menu, Settings, About Phone, and System Update. Next we can turn on debugging which is under settings then developer options and we can also make sure unknown sources has a check next to it which is under settings and security. After that we can now put the phone into PC or phone portal mode or for the Razer it's MTP mode. To do this you make sure debugging is checked, you plug in the phone and then once you plug it in you can drag down the notifications and tap USB connected and then you can select PC phone portal mode or MTP mode. So now that we have the phone all set up we can verify that it's reading by clicking this box at the top right to open the device manager. Usually this phone will read under networking adapters but right now you can see it's reading right here with the yellow exclamation points. This basically just means that drivers need to be installed for the phone. If you don't see the phone reading anywhere, I would try changing ports, cables, power cycling the phone, and also verifying that it is still in MTP or phone portal mode. So to install drivers, we can go back to the main page of Studio Light and put the mouse over this black arrow at the top middle. And then you can go to the Tools button and click Driver Checkup. So once we install these drivers, we should be able to connect to the phone. So now that the drivers have finished installing, you can see that it is reading as the Motorola USB networking driver under the network adapters on the device manager. So we can go back to Studio Light and skip to a new flash. And now we can use the auto detect button and it should pick up the phone. So the first time you connect to the phone, you will see these, this uh, message that says LTE mode is detected. It's important that you do not flash the phone at this point. When you get this message, just make sure you restart the phone. And then after you restart the phone, you can connect to it again and you will be able to flash it after that. So now that the phone has rebooted, we can connect to it again by clicking this auto button. Bottom left is Studio Light. This time when we connected we did not get the LTE pop-up, which means we're okay to flash now. So pretty much all you have to do is put in the numbers from the account. And then you can select what carrier you would like to flash it to on the right. And you can click provision at the bottom right and then choose a full or basic flash. Now that the flash has completed, you will see a summary of all the flash details that just ran through. If you're still having issues with the phone after the flash, please verify that all the information that you flash, such as the MDN and MIN, are matching the account. You can also try these steps I put up on the screen. If you see a message regarding the SIM on the phone, 
try making making sure the LTE or SIM card is properly inserted or try using a different one. You can also try using a new PRL or SID to flash when you're on the flash screen if you click the PRL or SID box. If you're still having issues after that, feel free to make a tech request and the next available tech will be able to help you out. Thanks guys, have a good day.